Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. So what I want to do in this video is be accountable really. So this is a way of encouraging me to wear some of these untrieds and to me these are kind of summer shades for me that I want to try and get some use out of over the summer including my project polish minis as well which I still need to try and get through. So yeah this isn't just going to be for the week obviously this is going to be throughout the rest of the summer so here's what I've got let's start with the reds this here is um, a Rimmel London and this is double decker red I picked this up because it's just to me a true true bright bright red um, and I just haven't worn it so I'm definitely going to try and wear this one so that's a red another red here is it's an OPI mini but it's from the Alice in Wonderland collection. I think think this is called Having a Big Head Day, I think. So that's that one. This is a, a very pinky, coral-toned... Well, oh, playing havoc with the camera. But this one is Sunset Sneaks, which is from the Peachside Babe collection. Just not used to this camera. There we go. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's another kind of reddish tone that I want to wear. Um, and this one here is, I suppose this is pink, so let's have a look at the pinks. This is Mrs. Always Right, which had an amazing formula. And I know this, I don't know, maybe this is more of an autumn shade, but I wanted to try this before I kind of, before I forgot that I had it. Um, other pinks that I want to wear, this is Shocking Pink that I've swatched a few times, it's very bright, <laughs> but I've never, or I can't remember wearing it in a manicure, so I'm going to try that one. Bubblegum Pink from Sally Hansen, not the original, but I have swatched this and I seem to remember it being quite a good formula. In fact, a lot of the extreme wear polishes, both the original and the newer ones, seem to have pretty good formulas. This one here is a darker pink and this is Make an Entrance from China Glaze and I've, I picked this up because it had the same pink in it that Flying Dragon had but I just couldn't wear that polish. It just I just couldn't apply it even, it was just too thick and chalky but this is the kind of pink that's very similar without all the gritty blue bits. So yeah, I haven't worn it yet, but I'm planning to wear this in the summer. Um, this is another, I haven't worn any of the Glow and Care collection yet, the Essence collection, not in a, a full manicure. So I've picked out this one here, which is Shine On. And um, yeah, I'm gonna try and wear this one. Um, this is, Another one from the that goes with Mrs. Always Right. This is coming together. In fact, both of these, all three of these, are the bridal collection from last year. So these I'm putting in my untrieds for summer. All three of them, um, and also from another recent collection. This is Infinity and Eternal from the Neon and On collection from Pretty Perfect Polish, so I want to try those two. Some more neons and brights. So this one here is Push the Limit, and I've just bought a pair of trainers that are very similar to this neon coral, so I'm going to, it doesn't look anything like it, won't pick up in the camera, but I'm going to try and wear that, that's Push the Limit. This one is Orange Punch, which is a bright, bright orange so and I can't remember ever wearing this um a couple more neons this is also endless from the pretty perfect polish on and on neon and on collection and it's a bright lime neon green and this one is a kind of Frankenstein bright neon green this is Illamasqua nurture never worn it so I'm going to try and break that out this summer um, I still have some pastel shades, but that I just didn't get round to in the spring, and that I just either haven't worn or I've worn this one I've worn before and I really loved it, but I just wanted to make sure I had chance again to wear it this year. This is You Made My Day from the um, Colour and Care Natural Collection. 
So that one definitely. This one here is, now I have worn this, or maybe I just swatched it and took a picture, but this is Navigate Her that Louise sent me and I want to wear this again. So that one's going in there for greens. This one is very decent that, um, oh, I can't remember who sent me. I think Louise Purple Wolf Nails may have sent me this one. I think. Yeah, I can't remember buying anything from Rainbow Connection recently. So that one definitely. Lisa sent me, Louise sent me this one. This is minted with, from Revlon and this is a beautiful mint green. Not worn it. It's very, very, very similar. In fact, I could probably do a comparison on That's Hilarious from OPI. But again, I'm going to try and wear both of those in the summer. These two beautiful, beautiful polishes I remember swatching. This one's got a gorgeous shimmer. And it's, oh, the, the names are on the side. Make a Splash and Sky High. And these two are from, there is another one which is like a kind of dusky plum that I'll probably try and, you know, wear that in the autumn. But these two are from a, a set that, Catherine sent me Mrs. Cronall with my um, with my giveaway prize where I got this set here. Now I've worn these all together in some nail art but I wanted to pull out a kind of peachy apricot shade so and this is a beautiful sat uh, satin finish so I won the giveaway for this collection and she also sent me this set so time to pull these out and give them a go. Mallory is, I'm just pulling random ones out now, Mallory, this is from last year's autumn collection and it's that Yale blue. haven't worn it and I know loads of people have, have, have seen it around and about and I know a lot of people love this shade and this formula and I've yet to wear it so I'm going to try this summer. Um, this one here, uh, I think this one was sent to me either by Julia or Louise uh, Purple Wolf Nails and this is a lily pad lacquer, gorgeous uh, holographic green, golden delicious, definitely going to, tr I mean are there, any, are there enough days in the, in the month? <laughs> this is a new prickly pear uh, Barry M which is this really pretty lavender shade. Picked this up last week, not worn it yet. Um, also not worn the Outer Space Stories collection and I want to try this shifty, shifty. I don't know if you can see that at all there. It's like a sh really bright green shift running through this pale soft pink and this is Outer Space is the place. I want to try and wear this one. Also, I picked this up earlier in the year, Chinchilla, and I know I've mentioned it. I've asked people about the formula. Haven't worn it, so definitely going to wear that one. This is very similar, but a little bit darker. And Debbie sent me this is Stick to Your Guns from Salon Perfect, a brand that I've not even tried before. So here's a couple of neutrals. Also, the... Um, Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Heavy Metal that Jewel sent me. So these are all the... I'm trying to make sure that I wear as much of the nail mail that was sent to me as possible um, because I want to try them. This one, though, was picked up in a set that I've just kind of neglected. This is Lemon Fizz and I've picked up more of a liking for, for yellow this year and this is a nice dusky yellow. So this one I'm going to wear in the summer. This is a beautiful turquoise blew me away and this is one of the original Sally Hansen extreme wear and Debbie sent me this one. So yeah, that's going to go on my nails. This one is Arda's Nails and it is in the old bottle shapes but this is taking a dip. This was from the Hoovian box and I've swatched it but not worn it and it's got this really pretty shimmer and I think it's just a gorgeous summer shade. So that one, this is, oh, two more actually from the Glow and Care. I must have thought that I really needed to try this, this collection. Love and Care and Go for Glow. Great formulas, not so much of the Glow 
apparent on the nail but the formulas are fantastic and finally this beautiful green like a blue based green but not quite teal and this is more bang for my buck and this was another polish that was sent in that huge package that Debbie sent me and I haven't tried tried it yet and I want to and the pure ice shine which I believe is kind of hard to find or limited edition but yeah so that's all of my here are the polishes that I really want to try to make sure that I wear in the summer so that's quite a lot to get through but I've got the rest of the summer so I'm going to try and focus what's in this box and not get distracted with other things so that I can actually for once try to enjoy the polishes that I've got we will see how it goes have you got anything that you're planning to definitely wear this summer have you got any summer collections that you're thinking of picking up um yeah let me know leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next video bye